So these are what I got from the market today. I bought some chilies, green chilies, and also these bird-sized chilies. And then I also bought these uh, small fishes. And this is small shrimps. And this is a uh, peanut. And this is tamarind. And this one is palm sugar. So today I'm gonna be cooking green tempeh, or maybe in English it's it can be called as fried or dry fried tempeh with peanut and the small fishes and uh, will be covered with this uh, or cam caramel from palm sugar so the ingredients that I've prepared here are of course tempeh that I've cut into these shapes and then I have garlic shallots some chilies bay leaves Kaffir lime leaves, galangal, peanuts. I'm not going to use all of them, I'm just going to use half of it. And then this is small fishes. And I have uh, palm sugar that I have dissolved in a bit of water. And also this one is uh, tamarind. Also I have dissolved it into uh, a bit of water as well. First step, we fry tempeh into hot oil until it's dry and cook. Secondly, I also fry the small fishes until they are dry and also cooked. So now peanut fishes and tempeh are already fried and all cooked. And now I salt the rest of the ingredients like the garlic, shallots, chili, leaves and other stuffs and then we add the tamarind as well as adding the palm sugar And now we add the main ingredients into this pot. Mix all them together well until it's dry and a bit sticky. So here it is, kering tempeh with peanut and ikan teri or dry fry tempeh with peanut and fishes in a palm sugar glazed is ready and I put it inside the contain uh, container like this and I'm gonna keep it inside the fridge so I can enjoy it for a week I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it in here so here it is, what I have for my breakfast this morning. I just cooked this uh, curry tempeh and uh, also enjoy it with serundeng beef. This is actually beef and cooked with um, coconut and also with white rice. So let's have a breakfast guys. So today is day 21 of September 2019 and my body weight today is 57.3 and my body fat today is 16.9 So this evening I'll be having uh, an alumni reception of my 
university which is is it in uh, Westin Hotel but before I I'm going there my boss asked us to bring his glasses that he left in the office and he asked us to meet him at the hospital this afternoon because he's going to to, to visit uh, the vice minister's family who has been being hospitalized. I'm actually so lazy to to deliver my boss goggles and to bring it, to bring them to my boss to the hospital because I remember when we his staff got sick and he didn't even show his sympathy to us and he didn't even care if we if we got sick and uh, he replied to us with a very non empathical words that said uh, like this like are you really sick or are you just sick because you had a heartache to me or because you hate me that's what he said actually to us so even when my friend's daughter got sick and what he said was uh, I also had I, I also have a daughter and my daughter is also sick but I just but I just come to the office so he really didn't show his empathy to us to to his staffs when we uh, got trouble with our family like we got a family member uh, sick but now like it is uh, our vice minister's family which is not really close to us but then my boss just decides to come to the hospital to visit visit uh, his family although it is a good thing however I mean why he prioritizes uh, to to his uh, to someone that has higher position but he doesn't even respect us as his staff and after all the things that he has done to us still he still asked help from us like to bring his glasses to him to the hospital where it is actually his own personal private business it doesn't have any relation with uh, something in in the office task but he just ordered us to do so I mean he just want to use us he just want to, uh, to take benefit from us as much as possible just for his own advantage just for his own uh, benefits just to get attention from uh, the vice minister and but like we are so pushed to do many things that's why I really hate uh, a boss like that do you think it's very common to to have a boss like that like is it actually very common not only in my office probably in other offices just like that like uh, there is someone who really want to to gain attention from his or her bosses but that person is gonna be uh, gonna be pushing his or her staff a lot and he's so demanding just to gain his or her own personal benefit so I'm already at the office and I'm now going upstairs to 7th floor just to get his glasses and I'm gonna bring them to him And the office is now closed because it's 
uh, Saturday. Yeah, I've got them. I'm gonna check whether it's inside it. Uh, right, yeah, it's, they are inside this box. So I'm gonna bring them. I hate to do this. Fuck. Oh my god, look at this. The traffic is so bad. It's so congested. It's so long. Man, it's Saturday, but the road is still busy. So I already arrived at the hospital and I just got a message from my friend that my boss is late coming here. So eventually my boss is late and he's not coming yet but the vice minister is already going home now and I haven't met my boss yet so I just now I'm going to my next agenda which is going to uh, the alumni reception so uh, I'm not going to meet my boss yeah so I finally arrived at the place of uh, the event for alumni reception it is in Western Hotel this Western Hotel is located in the, the the tallest, the currently tallest building in Jakarta. I forgot the name of this tower. So people, people are coming, and I think the event's starting soon. Look at this neck. It's so cute, and it also has a label, and it's edible. Let's take selfies. Oh, sure, sure. Was it, was it a video? We are going to a bar in this hotel after finishing our event of the alumni event. Pretty. The view is so spectacular from up above here. I am now in the tallest building in Jakarta. Look at the city light. Actually, that guy is playing the music.